So now that we're starting to discuss our, our, our data structure of a tree, one of the things that we have are, just like always, some operations. So let's say, for example, I'm looking at this C node right here. So I've built my tree, you know, tree, T, new, tree, and I added all these elements, and we'll get to that uh, uh, later on. One of the things I might need to know is, you know, where's my root? This is very similar to when we were talking about stacks and queues, uh, and I needed to know where my head was. I'm going to put air quotes around here. You could think of this as sort of like it was the head. Uh, where's the starting point, if you will? So, again, air quotes, uh, only because we're n we don't look at it as a, a head, we look at it, again, as a root. But, again, I, I say I'm here, I'm at this, this node here, and I'll change colors again. So, I just made node C, and I'll call it C for this sake. One of the things I can ask is, you know, give me my element that I happen to have here. The C is just a key. Uh, for me to kind of work off of. Uh, but I also ask maybe something like, what's my parent? I need to know who this is because if I ever need to go up, I need to kind of traverse this uh, tree in any way, I do happen to need to know uh, who these people are, especially uh, as we can kind of work. The same kind of thing. If I happen to be needing to know my parent, as you can imagine, I need to know who my children are, so I have the exact same thing going on there. Uh, I can always ask uh, some other things like uh, how many children, so number of children. And last one might be how many siblings do I happen to have? So, uh, siblings. These are all very common operations because, again, they, if you kind of notice, uh, they're, they're pointing towards either myself or any of the connecting kind of uh, nodes that may be uh, in association with me uh, in any sort of way.